the phase transition and the vapor pressure vapor pressure of the binary uh, solution which is made up of liquid solute and liquid solvent okay so uh, first what we have to know what is uh, phase transition so uh, you could have studied uh, like uh, phase equilibria uh, suppose we consider water as a example we take ice so ice which is melts into the water and uh, liquid water can be uh, evaporated to the gaseous state right again i can bring back the gaseous water by uh, uh, by applying the pressure or by uh, reducing the temperature we can bring it as a the water vapor into the uh, liquid water again when i uh, just freeze it or when i keep it in a fridge that liquid water can uh, come as a ice right so this is known as the phase transition of water so uh, how do we call it? suppose uh, i am taking solid when it goes to the liquid that time the phase transition is known as melting the temperature is known as the melting temperature similarly for the liquid when it is converted as a vapor we call that process as evaporation okay and uh, uh, when the vapor is uh, uh, comes as a liquid we call that as a condensation okay that liquid again when we are uh, uh, making as a solid that time that process is known as a freezing and you know camphor is an example for sublimation the solid camp camphor can be converted into the gaseous state right so that process is known as a sublimation that is the phase transition between the solid to the gaseous phase right and suppose uh, if you are taking the gaseous phase to the solid phase that is known as the deposition so this is the phase transition in general and how it is connected to the vapor pressure so in vapor pressure we are only going to consider the liquid to vapor okay this equilibrium okay so uh, you have to consider the closed system okay in a closed system you have taken the liquid okay and it has a water vapor on the surface of the liquid okay so at a particular stage what happens the water vapor uh, is in equilibrium with the liquid okay so that time there exists a pressure uh, or the pressure was exerted by the vapor which is in the equilibrium with the liquid okay so that pressure is known as the vapor pressure so that is simply we can say the pressure exerted by the vapor which is in equilibrium with the liquid is known as the vapor pressure so at this equilibrium what happens the rate of vaporization is equal to the rate of condensation okay and what are the factors which affects the vapor pressure so uh, the nature of the liquid and the temperature and the surface area so these are the factor which affects the vapor pressure now we are going to see what is the vapor pressure for the binary solution which is made up of liquid solute and a liquid solvent for example i take benzene as a liquid solute and toluene as a liquid solvent okay and i just take a solute as a, a component solvent as a b component so according to uh, raoul's law the partial pressure is directly proportional to the mole fraction and we put the proportionality constant as a partial pressure at the pure state similarly for the uh, liquid solvent component b pb directly proportional to xb and pb is equal to p not b into xb and we are going to apply the dalton's law of total pressure what is dalton's law of total pressure the total pressure is equal to sum of the all the partial pressures so here only we have two components so partial pressure of a plus partial pressure of b so that is in turn is equal to p not a into x a plus p not b into x b and we know that mole fraction sum of mole fractions is equal to 1 right so i take x a plus x b equal to 1 and x a equal to 1 minus x b i substitute in this equation so this becomes p not a into 1 minus x b plus p not b into x b and when i expand it what i finally get p not a plus x b p not b minus p not a so this equation looks like so y equal to m x plus c so when you are plotting in x di x direction as the x b y direction as the p total okay so i get the something like uh, graph okay okay 
So the slope is here P naught minus P naught B minus P naught A and the intercept is P pure P naught A. Okay. So so this is my sorry this is this is my slope and this is the intercept I get okay so you can see from the equation okay so from this uh, we can uh, get the uh, so because in liquid and liquid the total pressure depends upon the the pure components partial pressures difference and the pure component partial pressure of A and the mole fraction of XB okay now in the next section we see the vapor pressure of the binary solution which is made up of uh, solid solute plus liquid solvent that we deal in the next section hope you understood this one if you have if you have any doubts you can put it in the comments thank you